development of numbers. Hey everyone, ever wondered where numbers came from? But have you ever stopped to ask who actually invented them? It's one of those questions that seems simple, but the answer is fascinatingly complex. The truth is, no single person can take credit for inventing numbers. It was a gradual process, a collective human achievement that unfolded over thousands of years across different cultures. Think way back to our earliest ancestors. Before they had symbols like one, two, or three, they needed a way to keep track of things. How many animals were in the herd? How many days until the next full moon? They started with the basics, tally marks. You can find ancient bones and cave walls with scratches on them, which archaeologists believe were early forms of counting. Some cultures used pebbles, knots in a rope, or even parts of their body to represent quantities. It was all about one-to-one -one correspondency, notch for one sheep. Simple, but effective. But as societies grew more complex, they needed a more sophisticated system. The Sumerians in Mesopotamia around 4000 BC were one of the first to develop a formal numeral system. They used a base 60 system, which is why we still have 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour today. Pretty cool, right? Then came the Egyptians with their hieroglyphic numerals and the Romans, whose Roman numerals we still see on clocks and in book chapters. Each system had its strengths and weaknesses, but a major breakthrough was still missing. That breakthrough was the concept of zero. The idea of a symbol for nothing was revolutionary. It was independently developed by the Babylonians and the Mayans, but it was the ancient Indian mathematicians who truly perfected it as a number in its own right around the 5th century AD. This Indian system, which included zero and place value, was so efficient, it eventually traveled through the Arab world, where it was refined and then introduced to Europe. That's why the numbers we use, today zero, uno, dos, tres, and so, anar called the Hindu-Arabic numerals. So, who found it? We all. The. From the first person who carved a notch in a bone to the brilliant mathematicians who conceptualized zero. The invention of numbers is a story of human ingenuity, collaboration, and our endless quest to make sense of the world. It's a shared legacy we all benefit from every single day. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this journey through time, don't forget to like and subscribe for more.